In this video, we'll explore extending our Redwood schema for profiles to mask emails. If we open Graphical with Redwood and make a request to fetch all of our profiles, here we can see the email, name, and birthday values. But we want to use a GraphQL directive so we can mask this email, so not everyone can see this who shouldn't have access to it. To do this, we will use a masked email directive. We haven't created this just yet, but we can use the Redwood generator to do so. Let's begin by typing yarn redwood generate directive, then we'll give the name of our directive, which will be masked email, and we'll provide the flag type with the value transformer as the type of directive that we want to generate. Redwood will automatically generate two files, a test and the actual implementation, both which are TypeScript files that we can find inside of our project. Now we can see inside of the source directives directory, we have masked email. Here you can see for the schema that we add the directive masked email. You can call this whatever you like. This is what you will use inside of the SDL for your different fields. Here we've already added this to the email field inside of the profile type. Now back inside of our implementation, we can go on to update the transform function here that receives the context and the resolved value. Let's begin by splitting the email to create us two new const. We'll first grab the username and the domain and we'll get this from the resolved value calling split and we'll split on the at symbol here. We'll then create the masked username value and here we can use username. We'll keep the first value of the username as is and we can do that using slice. We can then repeat the asterisk here for the length of the username minus the first value. So here we'll call username.length minus one. Let's now fetch the TLD and we'll call this mask TLD. Similar to the mask username, we'll now create a mask domain value. And here we'll repeat for the length of the domain minus the length of the TLD. And then we'll finish by adding the TLD. We'll then put together the mask username and mask domain inside of a new const called masked. Now, all that's left to do is return this masked value. Now, if we go back to Graphical and rerun that query, we should now see that we have a masked email. We have the first value as is, and then for the length of the username, we have this asterisk, then we have the masked domain, plus the TLD as is. So that's been a quick look at how you can mask emails with Redwood using a custom GraphQL directive implemented all inside of Redwood.